Alright, it is Vegas 2012. We're in the back of a taxi cab driving on the Las Vegas Strip. I'm making this fast because this uh, taxi ride is going to be really short. I'm here with Ted. Uh, Ted is actually going to be on his way to the convention center setting up all the crazy stuff that Red has in store for us. And I was able to get Ted to give us a little quick pre-NAB hype interview. Uh, just to hype things up for the stuff that's going to happen tomorrow. So as Ted, if, as if NAB and Red yeah, need more hype. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, exactly. So I mean, uh, I'm excited. I can't wait till nine o'clock hits tomorrow. But Ted, please fill us in. So obviously, there's not a whole lot I can fill you in on today, other than the fact that if you track Red and you know Red and you know what we do at NAB, this year will be just as dramatic, if not more dramatic, than any year in the past. Um, people are always excited about. Uh, there's a couple things going on. There's the big red user event tonight, right? Um, that uh, I'll be at, and a few other uh, red people will be at. And Michael Chioni and his buddies from White Iron uh, are putting that together. Um, so that should be a lot of fun for everybody. And then um, tomorrow morning, the fun starts at the red booth. So, um, so what's the? How do you feel about all the other 4K? That's kind of been. Seems like 4K is the buzz. That's going to be the main buzz this year. Um, how, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about the other camera fact manufacturers coming up? And, and kind of seeing, you know, kind of the light, so to speak, in terms of 4K. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's pretty interesting, right? So because I can't tell you too much about the specifics today, that'll be tomorrow, what's a really good time to talk about now is the whole strategy of what 4K is now meaning to the industry, right? For many years now, for five, six years, Red has been on our 4K track, trying to explain to people uh, with all the tools that we have that HD is not a acquisition format for the future. It is strictly a moment in time that will be surpassed by 4K. Now we're actually seeing that come to fruition starting this year with CES when every major uh, consumer electronics manufacturer had 4K displays demonstrating, talking about that, showing that this is the next step. This is not just some experiment that may happen someday. This is definitely going to happen. We're all going to have 4K displays. You're going to see a lot of that in the user party tonight. It's all about 4K, right? Um, and if you think about the other camera manufacturers, I think now they're finally starting to get it, but they're not tracking ahead. They're lagging behind as far as I'm concerned. If you look at where red is from 4K, from a 4K standpoint, that's kind of all of 2008 for us, right? We've surpassed that and eclipsed that with the Epic, which shoots 5K, which is 60% more image area than 4K, which is a big deal. Um, and gives you all that flexibility with all that extra resolution to use. So uh, Jim had a really good quote on the user form a couple days ago when he was talking about this kind of future and, and what it means. And the logic of, if you're gonna make the pass, you need to throw the pass to the receiver where the receiver is going to be, not where he already is at. And if you think about what Red has done strategically as a company, our whole company life, we've always been doing that. We've always been taking the ball and throwing it to where everyone is going to be. Now everyone is there, right? 4K is real, movies are being shot in 4K and 5K, finished in 4K, delivered in 4K in theaters, that's a reality, right? We're already working on the next step and the next step after that. Now, we think it's great that all the other camera, all the other camera manufacturers are finally catching up to this fact that they need to at least build 4K acquisition tools, so good on them for doing it. Red is already three or four leapfrogs ahead of them. Yeah, I saw um, Dragon Tattoo uh, in 4K at the Arclight Theater, and it was amazing. Yeah. So I just... It's exciting to see that that's like the next, you know, evolution. And so you guys have uh, a lot of people are going to ask about Red Ray, probably, uh, and then uh, announcement of 4K projectors. And so it'll be interesting to see what we get to see tomorrow, you know. I, and uh, and trust me, like I I know not to pick Ted's brain in terms of <laughs> revealing well, that's announcements. That's why I let you do these interviews ahead of time. But you're uh, good at that. yeah, and I don't honestly don't know what's going on uh, tomorrow. But uh, I'm really excited and. Uh, you know, it's already been kind of like uh, three years now since, uh, you know, the first interview I had with Ted on the stairway um, back at the Tropicana. Right. So, so this uh, guerrilla style of uh, yeah. interview is First it was a stairway, now it's the back of a taxi. So, you know, we're just kind of keeping it upgrade. real. Right. We're certainly trying to keep it real. So. Oh, and of course, that interview we did in Vietnam, which yeah. I think has more hits awesome. than any other interview I've ever done. Yeah, so um, just around the world. So awesome to, you know, have to see you in Vietnam and then now here. And uh, um, when are you going to take your next trips out? Uh, probably this summer I'll be doing another Asia jaunt, so we'll be okay. all around that region of the world. Okay. Um, we've got a couple of education classes coming up that, of course, education Ivan is shooting here, Justin is shooting here, and you that are doing the interview are all involved in. So we have Reducation New York in May, in May right? right? And then, and then uh, we do up? one in the studio in June. In June. And we have our Camp Red program in August for right. all the kids, which you guys will all be involved in. And then, and uh, then we're doing our longer program, our four-month program called Reducation X, 
uh, starting in October. So we've got a lot going on the education front, which of course you guys have all been a, a big part of. Yeah, um, I think what's kind of also interesting to talk about as we motor our way over <laughs> yeah. here um, is how important the whole user community is to this understanding of 4K and the ability for them to actually take material shot in 4K, manipulate it on normal desktop computers with our Red Rocket cards, pump out footage that is well beyond HD, full theatrical quality, with very small infrastructure, desktop infrastructure, right? right. So that's right. pretty important. Too. Yeah, during their education, we were, it was awesome. We, would, we took the groups out, we shot 4K, and watched it on the 4K projector. So pretty right. much, yeah. And it looks like we're here. We're so here. we okay. stop the interview now. All right, so, <laughs> we'll uh, so stay tuned. So tonight, Red User Party at the Tropicana Light Iron, and tomorrow, NAB 9 a.m., 2012. Don't miss it. Thanks. <laughs> that worked out. <laughs> I like that. <laughs>